Let's take a little look-see doodle. Uh, where's my mouse? Mouse? Is this a controller game? Let's grab a controller, see if that. Yeah, looks like controller. No audio controls. Hopefully we don't get our ears blasted off. The doctor's the void. The absence. Infinity in every direction. Suspended in nothingness floats a yellow dwarf. A timid blue dot orbits its vicinity. Okay. Insignificant? You're insignificant. We're an employee. I love being an employee. You work. Oh shit, you love to work. Uh oh. Yep. Without them, we couldn't breathe easy. Breathing is important. It allows you to keep working. Oh, breathing. Oh, I stopped breathing. That's not good. I can't work if I stop breathing. I'm the failure of a mediocre attempt. Oh, crap. Host is fragile, but he needs to work. Break it silently. Okay. Northern Europe. Skellig is short for Scullywag. It's a pirate game, right? Here. Employee P1518889. My uh, controller is not, it'll pause and it will open the inventory and it says down in the bottom right, X is next, closes uh, O, uh, but none of the buttons do anything other than, uh, I mean, I'm using an Xbox controller, so I mean, this is, it might be trying to look for a PlayStation controller or something. I don't know. Let's try a keyboard and mouse. But that wouldn't work in the main menu. No, no keyboard and mouse functionality here. Uh, 
Um, let's try resetting the game, I guess. Yeah, like it's it's got like like PlayStation buttons here, but like that's not the controller that's plugged in. So, but but the fact that also the keyboard isn't working for me either. Maybe I'll try let's try exiting the game and let's try maybe unplugging my controller and just trying it with the keyboard plugged in we'll see if it'll recognize and allow me to use the keyboard then okay i can use w and s to move let's try enter new game okay oh boy well, well, we're here. we can't skip this cutscene. It doesn't seem like so. I guess we're here for a minute. So how's your day going, chat? Are you enjoying this Thursday? How are you liking Next Fest so far? Lurking away, Quasi R, that's good. It's pretty janky. It's good next fest because Billy. That's good. Glad I could be here. Did you see today's short chat? It's a funny short. Need shorts. I have the Catman trailer. Uh, today's short was funny. Oh my God! Somebody made a sound using. Somebody made a TikTok using one of my sounds. I don't know which one it is. I'm sorry to be talking over this, but we just watched it and I can't fucking skip it. So what do you what do you want from me? <laughs> All right. Hopefully uh hopefully we're able to play. Okay, that, okay, I think I hit enter there. Ibsen? Yeah, enter. What am I doing here? What's happened? What's happening? You're in a landfill under the dis district. Why can't I move? Where are my clothes? I found your body in the trash. You smelled like rotten meat and were covered in insects. 
I had to disinfect your uniform. Am I dead? You were, but I installed that thing in your head. It'll take a while before you can walk. Your clothes are at the foot of the bed. Get dressed and come see me when you're recovered. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to, if the, if the mouse is even going to work at all here. Capital One. Rotten. It says L move, but I'm using Wasa to move. Is what's going on. Alright. Enter? Yeah, enter is how it do. You took your time. Who are you? Marissa. No last name. I fixed you, but I'm not a charity. You'll have to pay for that implant. You know what you are? I know what you are, employee. Down here we don't practice the free market, but we do know how to distinguish shit from gold. Okay. I got a valve. Uh, backspace is back. What's inventory, though? I. This is really rough on uh, keyboard exclusively. How long have I been dead? I don't know. Robert brought you a couple of days ago. Who's Robert? The janitor. His job is to take out the trash, though he didn't know much about you. Tell me, how was it? Did you do it in front of everyone? What are you talking about? When you killed yourself, you don't have privacy. How did you manage it? I would never do such a thing. Oh, too bad. I was hoping for a good story. You can't be more than ten years old, too. Ten can't be more than ten years old, too young to fail. Maybe it's just a simple heart attack in your cubicle. Isn't that how it usually is? I don't know. Movement, I would say, is tediously slow. No run option, at least not on the keyboard. I can't seem to find one. No shift, tab, con uh, control, etc. We have this uh, valve thing that we picked up, but if there's something that I can interact with it, when I go to interact with a door that, like, may or may not be able to be opened. I don't get any kind of feedback of like, the store's locked, we can't open it. Oh, there's must be controlled by something else, you know, etc. that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'm supposed to just continue talking to this person, but it's the only thing that I can seem to do, so that's what I'm going to do. I need to get back to work. You resurrect like a god and only think about getting back to your leash? I only have my job, I'm a son of the corporation. Fine. You're not my prisoner. There's a freight elevator ahead. It'll take you straight to the district you came from. Robert used to bring me things through it. Good luck, Ibsen. Okay, now I can go. But again, like, not getting any kind of feedback on, like, this door can't be opened, or maybe I should, you know, try to go through the door, and then it says, like, I need to, maybe I should talk to her about letting me through or something. 
Okay, now we have a run ability. Now that's circle. Now, again, I don't have a controller because the controller wasn't working. So... I don't know what run is. Oh, that's the Windows key, sorry. That's inventory. What's run? Space? It's space. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I forgot that there was instructions here, but like, it'd be nice if it told me, you know, that it was space and not circle. It is my fault for not remembering where the things are. Oh my God. Suicide note. Freedom is not demanded. It is enjoyed. Escape doesn't back us out of the menu. I have to actually press I, which is annoying. Pause menu should show you the keys on the right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, like I said, like I, I did forget about that, but... But yeah, the, the controller wasn't functioning at all. Like it wasn't recognizing anything other than pause. So I didn't know. Nothing I can do there. Oh, it's locked. I meant get the key binds for the controller. Oh, oh, sure. Maybe I can pry that drawer open with the uh, screwdriver. I like I like the um like I'm a pretty big fan of the classic Resident Evil, so like I like the forced camera perspective kind of stuff. I like that that kind of uh stuff and that that tanky tr controls. I, I like that uh stiff sharpening stone.
camera's following us around, by the way. Can I inspect that sharpening stone? Tig. Not to be so mean about it, jeez. Ugh. Hitting enter from a, even a relatively decent dis distance away. That sucks you into the door. See? <laughs> it just, just slurps you right in when you hit enter. to use here these like this is it get lost the sooner you go the sooner you'll return okay else is there for me to interact with as far as I know there's only the uh, the rope and oh there's a door here I'm so blind I don't know oh, come here where'd it go did I actually pick that up oh I picked it up wow Sharp scissors. Wow, we did it. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't see that room there. I feel like these should like just be blue all the time. And then just like have the be closer. You have to be closer in order to Actually, enter the door when you hit enter. Um, Underhall, Robert Erickson, 1947, 320 something. I'll have to in, in, inspect this. 0451. Love liminality. Oh, 
I love beauty in the static space between events. These are sens sensitive. These nuts. Only value numerical precepts. Okay. Okay, wow. A pathetic creature. Hey, come on, man. You might as well be a dick. Naturally submissive. Hey, what's wrong with that? Welcome to the automated system of the corporate archive. My name is Klaus, and I will be your virtual guide on your visit to the city-state of Utgard. Skalik. Stay back and blow E. Mr. Soder, I work here. What's going on? I told you to stay back. Why are you covered in blood? Is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lunatics. You're not gonna take me down. Did an employee do this to you? <laughs> what do you think? Get out of here. I can bleed out on my own. All right. Respect the man's wishes. Nope. Oh, I saved my game. Oh, it's you. And why are you following me? What do you want? I'm just protecting my investment, Simpson. It's nothing personal. It's not my name. Don't be ridiculous. You don't have a name. Focus on your debt. I have no possessions. I can't give you anything. Relax. Someone will be willing to pay to, pay to get you back. Loyal employees are rare. Your masters are craving obedience. But why? Why would they pay for what's already theirs? Good question, Ibsen. If I deactivate the implant, your brainstem shuts down and the puppet loses its strings. Nobody wants that, right? Bloody credential. ID card. Maybe I need to clean this off. Exhibition pamphlet. Artificial arts. Artificial art returns. The AI that changed everything is back. PNP inaugurates the posthumous work of Niall Zorn and revives the debate about its nature. 
Was it a conscious entity, or just a clever trick by its programmers? Zorn became famous for his art, but turned into an icon for his message. This career was marked by a strong protest against the isolation of Utgard, which obsessed him to the point of taking his own life, erasing all trace of his source code. His last work was exhibited in 407, consisting of an heliarium uh, in honor of Walter Habris. The piece is accompanied by portraits of the most important CEOs of the annexed companies, which Zorn insisted on including despite being commissioned works. Like, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm about done with this one. First he said nothing, then he looked straight ahead, and finally she demanded joy. You are standing before the famous Hilarium of District 407. It is the posthumous work of Nidal Zorn, presented in 1988-1998 shortly after his death. Several interlocking granite blocks conceal a large electromagnetic e electromagnet at its base. The floating spheres, made of superconducting materials, capture the beauty of gravitation. It is a figurative portrait of our solar system that tells us a melancholic tale about the spatial recession. Recession? Maybe? I think it wasn't recession. Uh, the blackened and scorched planets speak of the abandonment of colonialization due to the atomic holocaust. In Zorn's words, there is an entire cemetery of silicon orbiting this toxic rock. Um, I feel like one of the things probably for this demo, I mean, obviously we had some technical problems and then I also forgot to like look up the control scheme for the, for the keyboard. Uh, but the fact that it like wasn't working, um, with the controller was very frustrating. That being said, um, plug this, plug this back in. That being said, I think it's pretty important when you have a demo like this is a like you really have to kind of throw the character in the deep end, like just kind of get to the to the main thing. Like you have your like long intro and um you know the the and and it's fine, but like if instead of it being like the the kind of the slow intro with like kind of like the slow burn introducing uh you to the character and the other stuff it would probably be be much better to have it's something where you're um kind of in the thick of it just throw them in the deep end you have have like the the like the big action whatever like the main thing is that uh that you want to kind of uh have it have it have the game kind of stand out because as it is it's just as like uh not particularly engaging at least not for me so let's 
So a resident evil style horror game. Set in some kind of corporate dystopia. Had some issues detecting my controller. Um, I guess I'll just say like uh, Xbox controller wouldn't work. But uh, just felt really slow. Doesn't feel engaging. Like you don't need to have action or anything if that's not what the game is about, but if there is action, like having some of it uh, would be probably good. But um, yeah, I, sort of, I think it's like a two, um, uh, certainly at best. And like, I don't know, it's like, it might be all right. Um, but uh, like, I like the visuals okay. Um, and I, I do kind of like the story aspect of your character being a, like, you, you're you're a cog in the machine, but like you like being a cog in the machine, and it's you're apparently some kind of like a maybe a co corporation created, uh, you know, kind of worker type situation, uh, which is which is also kind of interesting. So there's some interesting story stuff there, but um, yeah, Dabble and Dimma didn't really do it for me, so no, probably not, um, not really. At the moment, I wouldn't really uh, say particularly.